A former member of U.S. military intelligence is helping fight one of the deadliest terror groups in Africa. He is a pioneer in the U.S. military's use of drones. That expertise is now being used in Somalia's fight against al-Shabaab, the al-Qaeda-linked terror group. Deborah Pata is in the Somali capital of Mogadishu with a look at the anti-terror strategy. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. The threat of unpredictable violence is ever present here. Al-Shabaab's reach is vast and they are one of the most organized and dangerous of Africa's militant groups. Al-Shabaab no longer controls the crumbling city of Mogadishu, but it has still been able to wreak havoc with its relentless bombing campaigns. Their weapon of choice has been the vehicle bomb, like the one used with devastating effect on October the 14th, killing over 500 people in the capital. We have repeatedly been told that Al-Shabaab has eyes and ears everywhere, that they blend easily into local communities. A quiet street like this may not look menacing, but it can turn nasty in an instant. Former U.S. military intelligence officer Brett Velikovich wants to change that. He has donated commercial drones to the Somali police force and is training them to use the technology in the fight against al-Shabaab. When they go into different areas to clear parts that are under Shabaab control, they will actually fly those drones low and in front of them to look out for roadside bombs. Another al-Shabaab tactic is to plant one bomb and as the first responders arrive, they detonate another, killing everyone who has rushed to help. The investigators will actually go out and they'll fly our drones and they'll make sure that the area is safe for first responders to come into. Somali intelligence has told us that al-Shabaab continues to practice its bomb-making skills over and over again until they get it right. And in this Al-Shabaab footage, they test one of their bombs on an African peacekeeping convoy. Drone technology could help thwart attacks like these. It significantly alters the way they can actually do counter-terrorism work. Exactly. I mean, imagine walking into uh, a situation where you don't know if the people at a, in a house or a compound have weapons, if they have explosives. But if you can see from the air what you're about to walk into, that changes the game. Al-Shabaab's bombs are increasingly more complex and more powerful. This simple drone technology could provide a much-needed boost for the overworked, under-resourced Somali counter-terrorism units. Nora? Really interesting. Deborah Pata in Mogadishu. Thank you.